everybody, I'm Jeff Holland, and I'm here with my wife, Lori. Hi, Lori. And we've got Banjo, come back. You guys know Zemu and Daisy. They're my biggest fans. And we'll pretend like that's Banjo in the middle, but actually he's over there. He's a little camera shy. I want to show you something that Lori and I have been working on. Uh, I became a Viva Rhythm endorser. Uh, two years ago. We've gone through a lot of trial and error putting different combinations of instruments together. I don't know if you've seen my stacking conga videos on the bass drums. There's a lot of videos that are archived that uh, just aren't on my YouTube page yet. But we'll have that one coming soon. But we decided to go over the top and since eight is one of our favorite numbers in the drumming world, we love to phrase in eight and now we love to pack in eights. So on my back, I have eight awesome instruments and a cool backpack that I can't wait to share with you. So let's open it up. These cases have held up surprisingly well for us. And in this case, eight instruments into a bag. Our corporate offices tend to be about 25 to 50. If we do larger programs, we just take a second rock and roller. Opening these drums up is super easy. We've worked with a lot of uh, synthetic drums that are stackable in the past. These are definitely top rated. Without any further ado, let me introduce our new jam pack. Right here on the side, the bass drums and also congas from Viva Rhythms all come with these awesome mallets. Now these look huge but surprisingly they're very light. These mallets work great and they're super light but they fill up your hands. So if you work with seniors uh, at assisted living and they have a little arthritis and it's hard for them to reach around sticks or gets hard playing on their hands, that's where we use the sticks. Now when we're in a classroom of second graders, no sticks. So we have a 12 inch djembe that's kind of the centerpiece of the bag. But the greatest thing with these new pop-off heads is push it a little bit to the side and you've got a frame drum. So when you press it against your body you can actually lower the pitch. So I put the frame drum to the side for a second because inside of this 12 inch djembe Think of the Russian Easter eggs. We have a 10 inch djembe. Now this djembe contains a special surprise. I mentioned that we have eight instruments. Well, there are six drums, but we needed some icing on the cake. So this is actually an ABS plastic. This is a rigid plastic and seems to be virtually indestructible. We've, we've had these uh, tossing around, actually doing team building exercises. Uh, all kinds of different games with them and they're holding up great. Here's the frame drum off of the 10 inch djembe. Or start a conga line where we can move around. Dig a little bit deeper we come to the 8 inch djembe. Now they call it a djembe. This is actually the stackable set of three djembes in the Viva Rhythms line and uh, they all have the Boom Series heads. So the thing about the Boom Series heads is they're a little brighter, they're a little louder, uh, they cut more, they have a, a full range from bass tone and slap. And when I introduce the 8 inch djembe, this is perfect when you're in the eight, nine, ten inch djembe range to use them for Middle Eastern rhythms as darbukas, or some Americans call them doombacks. That's a surprising amount of bass coming from this tiny little drum. What you think, Daisy May? Pretty good? Want to see more? Okay. So, we have the 8 inch drum, we have the 10 inch drum, Darbuka style. And I'm sitting on a couch playing on a rug, not the most ideal place to show the resonance of the drums. This 
this djembe really shines when you get into it. So you can have a clear, clear voices, bass tone slap, and then put together. Whoo, that's loud, isn't it? You okay? They love the drums and they're used to this. So, hiding in the bottom of the stackable three djembes was actually a hidden crystal shaker. And so this is also in the Viva Rhythm line. It's uh, very colorful. We love, uh, when we're using these, it's just great to be able to see how the shakers are working inside. We have the first of the bass drum. So I mentioned the Boom Series heads. These are the, the light colored heads that are bright and loud. The soft sound heads are covered in a naga hide. These are kind of like the Bahia bass drums from northern Brazil. There's a mylar ply covered by the naga hide ply. And then they've started adding dampening pads in the center. Get down and play. So this puts it at a perfect high. you're a professional. So as we move a little further down, we come to the seventh drum, the segundo bass drum. Last but not least, we have the largest bass drum. Sometimes you have to wiggle it a little bit. Ooh, I mean, you can feel that. One of the things that I love about this finish is the spiral of life. So the point starts with you and as you begin to share your rhythms and spread your joy, your circles get larger and you meet more people and eventually you want to shine and share your energy as bright as the sun. drums also have pop-off heads and I found the best way to remove the heads is kind of like a djembe. Steady it a little bit with your feet at the bottom and your knees on the side and push gently on the side of the drum as you, as you pick up. You can see the muffling dot in the middle of this. I've never had this off so that was the first time this head has ever come off. What would you think Banjo? Oh it's got a great resonance to it. He likes it. He just won't come on the camera. With a mallet. Well, that sounds great. You, the person sitting beside you really gets a good massage. Oh, this is the new. Naughty is the new nice, right? So, if you hold it like this in a drum circle, just be aware that you are giving the person next to you a good rhythm massage. That was the tightest one yet. Come on, Banjo. Ten, uh, twelve, and fourteen inch. So they step up a good bit. And last but not least, we have the smallest. Even our best fans have to take a bathroom break once in a while. So. See you later, Zimu. So once again, I want to show you how easy it is to, once we get to the end of the gig, it's also a good practice for me to see how they get back into the case. So the first thing, bass drum goes in upside down. Second bass drum in upside down. So there's our third bass drum, pop off head. Here's the 12 inch djembe. We have the 10 inch with the 8 inch inside. And the secret that that's the perfect place for one of those ABS plastic tambourines. I could have actually fit nine instruments in the case because as you 
It's kind of a secret and you got to move quick. So I slide the shaker in and then in. So as I put those on, put the mallets back in to stabilize it. Zip it up and we're ready to go. Or I should say, we're ready to drum for work. I haven't weighed this yet. I mean, it's it has eight instruments in it. So it has a little bit of weight to it. And like I said, we always transport them like this so that all the pressure hopefully sits flat on the heads. Uh, the 12 inch djembe is supported by the smallest bass drum and then with the mallets wedged around, we really don't hear that much. I mean, that's pretty muffled to consider that it's a loose tambourine in your band. And for those of you that may be new to the community, uh, Meinl is a German company. It's spelled M-E-I-N-L. And they have the line of Viva Rhythm drums in their community where they have the djembe, uh, stackable congas, they have uh, the bass drums, they also have a whole line of cajons, different cajons that you can sit on. I'm going to do a cajon video later, so make sure that you subscribe, hit the notification bell, and that way you'll know when the new videos come out. I'm Jeff Holland, a sonic artist, here to share with you our sonic energy tour. Keep your rhythms going, and I hope this makes your next load in and out a lot easier. The less time that we can spend moving drums, the more time we can spend grooving with them. Take care. From my family to yours, happy holidays. That's so good.